the world champion, the NBA champs, four, four times in the last 10 years, the Los Angeles Lakers. the fans of Los Angeles. Thank you for making this possible for the Lakers today. I don't know about you, but I can get used to this, so we'll talk about repeat a little bit later. Yeah, but we want to introduce you to the 2009 World Champion Los Angeles Lakers. This is one of the best scenes I have ever witnessed in my life. We need to do this every June. And we will, as long as we have the best team and the best fans. Want to introduce the players, the staff, and why don't we do the staff before, save the players, and let's start out with some guys that have been with the Lakers a long time. I know, I know you want to talk to Kobe. There are two members of the staff, everybody. Two members that have been with the Lakers longer than any others. 
We'll start with the equipment manager, the guy that has been there and as long as Dr. Buss has had the team. Rudy Garcetuenas. Rudy. Yes. Next on the list, who? Guy's been here longer than just about anybody. Athletic trainer, Gary V. Give it up, V. You're going to sit down over here, what? Come on. Now let's meet the assistant coaches. With Bill Jackson in Chicago. Here in Southern California, the former Buckeye from Ohio State, Jim Clemens. Also with Phil Jackson for a long time, a lot of rings, assistant coach Frank Hamblin. Someone who has won rings with the Lakers. We love him as Clark Kent, don't we? A Laker for life, Kurt Rambis. And it wasn't too long ago, this assistant coach was a major part of championships with the Lakers. Brian Shaw. It's a shame they don't like B. Shaw very much around here, isn't it? The reason the Lakers were one of the top scoring teams of the NBA this year, ranked in the top five across the board, shooting, scoring, free throw percentage. Their shooting coach, who's been with them a few years now, he won rings with Phil Jackson, Craig Hodges. talk about champions, that always has been, always will be, the captain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So we have met the Lakers coaching staff, well, almost the entire coaching staff. Before we say hello to the Lakers head coach, I want to give a shout out, and I want to hear it from all of you. He's in Oregon, and he can hear it up there. Someone that we love, who's been a Laker assistant. Let's hear it for Tex Winner. We're 
world champions. And what a year. 65 and 17. 65 wins. We start things off, man on the baseline. He banged him around, didn't he? His teammates had to watch out for him in practice, too. DJ Benga. Come on up, DJ. Next, a guy that didn't get a lot of time with the Lakers, but we know, we know what he can do. Adam Morrison. Someone you'll hear a lot from in the future. Former second round pick of the Lakers. He has a bright future. Soon you The win in Orlando was so good, so shocking to the Orlando fans, it must have rubbed off on the next guy. Look what it did to his win, Josh Powell. This young man joined the Lakers earlier this season. He's out of Michigan State, and we knew he could defend because he was all first-team defense. Little did we know what he could do offensively. <laughs> the Lakers' own human highlight reel, Shannon Brown. Somebody started calling him something, and it kind of stuck. They call him the machine. The machine. Sasha Gorgeous. Yes. We continue this celebration, and it's going to be a while. We're going to talk to some of the guys and head coach Bill Jackson as well. This young man is an L.A. native. Played in the Valley, played in UCLA, and is a Laker, Jordan Farmer. By the way, he's not going anywhere. 
He's staying where he belongs here in LA. Another guy that's not getting away. I promise you, he will not get away. We have to have him. We always talk about good people, hearts of gold, the soul of a person. No one is better than Hello Lamar Odom. And I guess everybody can put his uh, his soft routine to bed because this young man was big time. I'm talking big time in the finals. Pow! To Saul! Our world didn't change at all, did it? Last February 1st, that was the day our lives changed. We got how to solve. Up next, he left us, but not really. He couldn't get away from us. In San Antonio, we thought it was the best shot we'd ever seen, point four. That was until the NBA Finals this year. Derek Fisher! Yeah! I think that's it, isn't it? Is that got it? No. I you sure? It. Yeah. Okay. You know, I've always wondered what it would be like to meet somebody from another planet. Well, I found out because he's not from this one, he must be from another one. Simply the best. The very best. Your MVP. Kobe. some of the guys, and we also want to talk to the man that has orchestrated it. He is the best coach in NBA history. No one has as many championships. He talks about the journey, and that's what we want to hear about with this team. Let's welcome back head coach Phil Jackson. Phil, there was a road trip earlier this season, and we thought our world fell apart. Andrew Bynum went down, first game of the road trip. In the next five, the Lakers proceeded to win all five. They took care of Boston Thursday on a nationally televised game. Sunday, went to Cleveland. Cavaliers didn't have a loss. They had one after the Lakers left that Sunday afternoon. Did you find out a lot about your team after that road trip? Yeah, we've been planning this road trip for, you know, a month. Literally, after we came back from our Christmas road trip, we said the next one, we're going to go get them, and we did. That was a, a difference maker. It set the tone for the season. Stu? Set the tone for a great season, and the season culminated with your 10th championship. Tell me something about the relief of having it, not having to have another guy in the conversation. What did it feel like? Still the, uh, 
winning is the end of a culmination of a long journey. And every one of them is a big step. Every playoff opponent, a big step. I want to say some things here right now to the fans. We are humbled by your devotion and appreciation to us. To the community of LA, to the greater Los Angeles Basin, join us in the celebration. We hope our fans do not disturb you and celebrate creatively, not destructively. And to our organization, the people align the cord here to provide security, food, clothing, health. They pamper us. Thank you. Thank you all. And to this team, what was our motto on this team? The ring. The ring. That was the motto. It's not just this band of gold. It's the circle that's made a bond between all of these players. A great love for one another. It's a great feeling. Finally, to my family for being through 10 of these. It's been a great feeling for those kids to grow up with NBA providing their party ground. And personally, I want to thank GD Bus for encouraging me to come back and coach this team one more time. All right, with that, as we wrap things up with Coach Jackson, we can only say, we hope you're back at least one more time. The winning is Coach Phil Jackson! Up next, we won't hold against him that he's an Arizona Wildcat because he grew up in Southern California. But once he got to the Lakers, we all knew we had a keeper, a glue guy, a guy that fit with what Phil Jackson was doing. Little we know, he was gonna be a prankster and everything else to his teammates. Can I hear it for Luke Walton? Luke, the journey, coach talks about it. What stands out in your mind the most? I mean, it, it all just, I mean, it's all just been a great, great adventure. The team, the fans, uh, you know, the winning, the losing, getting through the tough times, and then finally coming on, on top and winning the championship is unbelievable. And we gotta thank you fans for everything. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys. I know one thing. When you get home to San Diego and you see Pops, Pops can't hold no ring over your head anymore. You have some ammunition to fire back with. Yeah, my dad's been talking trash for years now about <laughs> how he's an NBA champion. But uh, I got one ring, but the thing is, my ring is with a better franchise than, the, than his ring is with. Because he had a win one with the Celtics and we got one with the LA Lakers. Luke, thank you. Anything you want to say and address to your teammates before we wrap it? Just want to thank you guys. I look forward to having Trevor, Lamar, and Shannon back next year, and Coach Jackson coaching us. It's going to be a great year. Thank you guys. Thanks, Luke. Let's hear it for Luke Walton. We just talked about another Southern California guy, an LA native. And he hit some big shots down the stretch for the Lakers. Did he ever come through off the bench this year, and especially in the finals? Let's welcome back Jordan Farmar. <laughs> Have you for you. Now, tell us, as an LA native, growing up watching the Lakers, and now winning a ring with the Lakers, what's it like? Man, words can't even express how I feel right now. I'm one of y'all, man. I started where everybody is right now. I was watching Prey when I was six years old, so it's real special for me. Being so young, experiencing success, you had a journey this year. It wasn't easy for you. Talk to me a little bit about what you've learned this season, about what it takes to be a champion. I think the, the word that might sum it all up is sacrifice. Uh, 
putting, putting yourself behind the rest of the team. You know, the team goals and the organizational goals go first. I learned that. I matured a lot as a man this year. My fans, LA people stuck with me, helped me get through. You know, I appreciate it. We champs now. He's an Angelino. He's wearing the purple and gold and got to do it again one more time. We're right here next June, middle of June. The group keeping together. A lead guard who's only going to get better. I know you feel the same. Absolutely. We're all young, man. I'm 22 years old. Drew's 21. So we got a lot of years left of this. You can't never get used to this. Thank you, Jordan Farmar. You know, we haven't talked about that much, but Jordan touched on it. This is a very, very young group. And the guy that we're going to bring up now, he's still a couple of years away from turning 30. He's still a couple of years under contract. Fortunately for us, the big man from Barcelona. And what a job he did in the NBA Finals. Let's welcome back Pau Gasol. Last February 1st, he arrived from Memphis, by way, of course, Barcelona, where he started. What was it like when you arrived in Los Angeles? Because the expectation's just a little different than Memphis. Yeah, just a little. Uh, well, first of all, I want to thank everybody for being here today. It's, uh, you guys are making our day. You guys make this so special. We make this so special. We are so fortunate to be here, so thank you, first of all. Second of all, uh, yeah, getting here was amazing. Everybody uh, showed me a lot of love. I felt extremely welcomed. I've, I've, I've been blessed to be a part of this team and be being a part of this city, part of this community. So thank you so much. Gracias de verdad de corazón. De corazón a todos. Sois, sois los mejores aficionados del mundo. Muchas gracias a todos. Stu. Forward center, but with guard skills. You create such problems for everybody. What was your feeling having to do so many different things this year playing defensively against smaller players, defensively against bigger, stronger players, but still possessing all of the fundamental skills to make it all work? Well, uh, it, was, it was a challenge, obviously, but, uh, you know, uh, I owned up to it. I think, uh, you know, uh, the Coaching staff really put a lot of responsibility on me and uh, trusted me uh, to, to get the job done. And I was looking forward to it. I, and I know with this group of guys, anything is possible. We got a, such an amazing group of guys here, such a quality basketball level. Coaching staff is unbelievable. So it was, uh, it was, it was just doing my job. It was doing my part. And now, in conclusion, playing alongside Andrew Bynum for the next few seasons. Good things down the road. More rings potentially. Yeah, potentially, absolutely. We got a we got an amazing young group of people here. They're we're still hungry. We we're not done yet. We want more. We want more. And after after leaving today, after experiencing what I what we experienced in the parade, coming here and being in this beautiful stadium, you know, we wanna we wanna definitely offer you more. So uh, be ready for it. Congratulations, Pagasol. Just a couple of years ago, we weren't in this position. It was the first round and it was done. And then a guy came back, who was a former first round pick of the Lakers. And when he came back, all of a sudden, things started to fall into place in the locker room, on the floor, roles, expectations were different, demands were different. He hit point four, but boy, the one in Orlando sent us to overtime. The big one with less than a minute left in overtime. Derek Fisher. <laughs> Things have changed since the first time around, but it's still sweet, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's just real sweet. LA, what's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> and now that here you are at this point of your career, because you and Kobe, you had three in a row early in this decade. It's a different feeling and one to be safe. Yeah, no, it's, it's a different feeling because of these guys behind me. 
Uh, this team is, is a special team. This is the most fun that I've ever had on a winning team. You know, we want to be the best, we are the best, but we really enjoy getting down together. And we appreciate all the support. We appreciate everybody getting up at 2 o'clock this morning. Everybody that didn't go to sleep. We appreciate you guys ready to come back. Show the love. Nothing like it in LA, is there? Absolutely nothing like the passion. Nah, it's, it's nothing like it, man. This is the best city in the world to be a champion. It's a city of champions. We love LA. And we know you love LA, baby. We appreciate it, man. We the champs. We the best. I know the fans would have obviously loved to, for you to close it out at home so they could have shared it right then and there. But isn't it a special feeling to take care of biz on the opponent's floor? Yeah, it's no, it's no better feeling as an athlete than to go on an opposing team's court or field and, and just get it done. And that was the professional thing to do. We showed a lot of growth and toughness in doing that. And we you know, we know you would have loved for us to be back here to do it, but this is what today is for. Everybody get to come hang out today and show their appreciation. So we're here. Derek, congratulations. Any final thoughts before we get ready for defending this championship next fall? Anybody want to do this again next year? Yeah. yeah. Well, again, I said it a little earlier. I'd always wanted to meet or at least see someone from another planet. Well, I have. I, I don't know where he's from. He ain't from here. He not from here. Number 24, Kobe Bryant. Yeah, you can chant it. You can go MVP. You can do it. 13 years ago, he came to the Lakers. Three rings, 2000, 2001, 2002. Different story, though. Young group of guys, but as Derek Fisher said, he really enjoyed the journey. It was special because he had a lot of fun, just like I know that you did. Yeah, no, it's been a blast, you know, being here you know, from 96 until now. And uh, three championships we won before. And now here we are, back on top. So you know, it just feels unbelievable. Back on top with a lot of room to spare. A lot left of the gas tank with the guys we're looking at behind you. No, there's plenty left. You know, we have a young team, you know, a team that has a lot of chemistry, and we're all hungry. You know, we feel this championship, we feel the energy of the city. We want to do this thing again and again. So, you know, we'll be back next year ready to go. Ah, that's uh -huh. what I wanted to hear. There you go. Yeah! Uh -huh. Mid-June. So we can plan on working until mid-June every year. Yeah, we're going to keep on rolling. <laughs> so that means that's good news and good news. Good news is you're coming back, and the good news is you're not going anywhere, bro. You're not going anywhere, bro. Talk to me. You're not going anywhere if I gotta kidnap you. Where I'm gonna go? It's my home, man. Where I'm gonna go? That's what I wanna hear. Well, hey. Before, before we get out of here, there's one thing that we did all year long from the start of training camp. Every time we brought it in after practice, right before the game, halftime, after the game, we all put our hands in together. We say, one, two, three, win. That's what we said every single day. All right, now I want everybody to do this. Everybody gonna do this. We gonna bring it in. Come on, man, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Yeah. Bring it in. On three, everybody. I want everybody to say ring on three. One, two, three. Ring! Let's go. Let's go. You can bring them together. He brought them together this year. Let's hear it again for the MVP of the finals, Kobe Bryant. And let's hear it one more time for your 2009 NBA champions, Los Angeles Lakers.